Welcome to unit 4, which is about visibility of variables. This topic is actually a little bit hard to understand. It's more easy to understand if you look into the notebooks later on. So what it's all about? We talk about global and local variables. Global and local scope. A variable can be defined outside of a function, then it is in a global scope. And the question is, is it actually usable? Is it accessible? Is it visible within a function? And vice versa. If you have defined a variable within a function, we call it a local variable. Is it usable? Is it visible, accessible outside of the function in a global scope? Actually, it's not. It's very important to be aware of this scope of functions. Where are they usable? It's uh, often a source of errors. We recommend not to use global variables within a local context within a function. Let's go into the coding. Let's open our notebook. It's showtime. So let's first start with an example which actually is an example for what we do not recommend to do. So here you have a global variable, global song, which is assigned by a value. And uh, we have this function, uh, and which uses this variable. And later on, we run this function. So if you execute the cell, the output is maybe not that um, surprising that uh, we get this listening to uh, global song Blitzkrieg Bob, which has been assigned outside of the function. Again, we recommend not to use this kind of uh, pattern. So why? Uh, because uh, let's have a look at the second example. Here we have actually a function. And in this function, we define this variable song. And later on, outside of the function, we access this variable. We make use, try to make use of this variable. So what's happening? Yeah, you see, we get a name error. Actually, the variable song is not defined. So even if we, if we run this function, play music, then we still have the same result. So it doesn't matter if the function is actually executed or not. The locally defined variable is not visible to the outside. Let's have a look on a more complex example. Here we have three functions. They all define a variable song locally. Yeah, same in here. And in addition, we have in the very first line, we have a global variable which has the same name, which has, is a song as well, S-O-N-G, yeah, and which gets assigned to another value. So if you run these functions and then finally um, print out the content of the variable, so what will it be? Maybe you can think first and stop the video, but actually here's the output, so you get actually the variable as defined within the function, you get printed out, listening to 100%, listening to Blitzkrieg Bob, listening to Blue Train, and finally, print song, you get the globally defined variable, at the very beginning defined, um, twinkle, twinkle, little star. And uh, actually, these variables are different ones. Yeah? So we do not have one variable song, actually, we have four ones, the global ones, global one, and in each function there is another uh, local, locally defined variable song, but actually these are different ones. They do not influence in each other. This is again seen in the following. Yeah? So again, we focus on the fact that um, the content of the global variable is not overwritten by a local variable which by accident has the same name. So these are really two different variables. So now you could argue, I would like to make use 
of the content of uh, the global variable. Yes, that's possible. However, then you have to define a parameter. Uh, so that's what we are doing in here. What we can see in the following coding cell, we've defined a global variable song, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Again, um, we have now a variable as a parameter song, which is uh, passing some content into this function. In here, we are executing this function and we are uh, handing over the content blue train to this song. And finally, we print out the variable song. And again, what we can see here is the global variable, the content of this variable has not changed. So it doesn't matter if you pass a variable as a parameter or if you just define it internally. Yeah? It's still a different variable compared to the global one. This one is a global one, this variable and this variable are both local ones. They have a local context. You can make a global variable accessible within a function. Then you have to use this keyword global. So again, if you run this code in here, yeah, you see we have defined our global variable song. Now we are arguing the global variable one should be the same as the local one. That's actually what this keyword global is doing. We assign a new value to song. Yeah, we print it out. And at the end, after the definition of the function, we print out the global variable. Yeah? And as you can see, yeah, the content of the variable has changed. Now, the local and the global variable are the same or the other way around. You can use, you can make use the globe, you can use the global variable within the local context of the function. And if you access a new value, as if you assign a new value to this um, variable, then it is changed on a global level. This is possible. However, we do some recommendations in here. First, you should be aware of global and local scopes. It's simply something different. And if you do not take care, again, this is a source of very many errors. You should avoid using global variables within functions. So even if you have shown this in the last um, coding cell that it's possible, don't use it by yourself. However, you should be able to understand if you read other programs what they are doing. If you need global variables within a function, then pass them as parameters into this function. And if necessary, pass the variable back using return. And again, never use global variables in functions without passing them as parameters. So what have you learned in this unit? First, there is local and global variables. There is local and global context. And even if variables have the same name, they are different. Local variables hide global ones within their local context. And finally, we recommend not to use global variables within a local context. 